Alexander Graham Bell, the man who connected the world. But was his world-changing invention truly his own idea? In the 1870s, many inventors were racing to figure out how to transmit human speech electrically, not just coded signals. Bell was a leading contender, but he wasn't alone. Bell's primary rival was Alicia Gray, an established inventor. On the morning of February 14, 1876, Gray filed a caveat, an intent to file a patent for a telephone design. Crucially, Bell's attorney arrived at the patent office hours earlier that same day, filing a full patent application for his own design. The patents were so similar that later controversies exploded. Accusations flew that Bell or his lawyers saw Gray's caveat and added a crucial element, the liquid transmitter concept, to Bell's application at the last minute. Bell faced over 600 lawsuits throughout his career challenging his claim. While he ultimately won the major cases, the debate over whether he merely patented an idea that was simultaneously conceived remains fierce. Bell patented the practical telephone, making him the winner. But the true originator? That story is still debated. Follow for more historical rivalries.